I thought I'd make a video of all the things that people ask in my class when we're playing with the graphing calculators and things they can't figure out. So if you get error invalid dimension, at least at our school, you're probably in a statistics class. So it actually tells you what to do here, but most people just press quit because all these words look scary. So the first thing it says is check one dimensions of the list are less than 999. And I'll tell you why it's doing this in a second. And then it tells you, hey, to set stat plots off, second stat plot plots off. Also go ahead and check that one is the less than the dimensions of the matrix and less than 900 or 99 and check that the inverse of the square matrix only. So the calculator is trying to do things that it's not able to do currently. So we will quit because we can't do anything here. And I'll just go to the easiest place to turn things off. So when I look at people's calculators up here, really the problem is plot one is on. And the easiest way to turn that off is to just press enter. So probably, I don't know, you were doing some regression in your stats class, forgot to turn that off, deleted the data, and things no longer graph. So now if we press graph, oh, there's our sign graph. So let's turn that back on so we can see what happens. There's the invalid dimension. So the other thing we can do um, to st set all stat plots off, this is another way to go. You can quit. And it says do second stat plot plots off second stat plot and all the way down here on number four plots off so you can just do that it will turn everything off and then you'll be able to graph again hopefully that helps